All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here at the long range, and this is it, man. We're going to check for accuracy between these two rifles. Now, here's how the program's going to work, and it's based off some suggestions, but primarily I, uh, I inquired a bunch of uh, professionals, you guys. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do a five-round sequence, uh, one at 100 yards, okay? Then we're going to do a 200-yard then what I'm going to do is I am going to have some fun on some steel and we're going to blast some 30 round mags. And I think we'll go ahead and do two 30 round mags because everybody wants to see steel going crazy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the 100 yard. There's on the left side, we'll do the cold bore. Then we're going to go to 200 and then we're going to go 60 rounds. And then we're going to go back to the right side target for the hot and let's see how far off it goes now guys it's 95 degrees out here and what we're doing is I'm actually uh, gonna go with this guy first this is econ one so right now she's it's uh, it's iffy on the uh, the zero but uh, we're using the 4 to 14 with the R grid in here we're gonna use the same exact scope on the uh, full money and we're gonna see how it goes this is using 55 grain. This is the Federal American Eagle. Picked this up at Walmart a few minutes ago because I ran out of ammo yesterday. But I got a treat. While the, while the next rifle is cooling down, we're going to remount the scope. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to see what both of these guys can do. One with one of my favorite rounds, the 75 grain boat tail hollow point from uh, Match from uh, Hornady. And then I picked up these guys right here. This is the uh, Elite Performance MO from Sig Sauer. The 77 grain Sierra uh, Boat Tail Hollow Point uh, Match Kings or whatever, open tip match. Well, anyway, it's going to be a little interesting to see how they perform with this higher end stuff. Most of the reasons why I use 55 grain, especially in competition, is just for those bay stages where you're uh, burning them down, man. You're ready to go. You're double tapping the targets. You're not looking for any kind of precision shooting. Shouldn't have any problems hitting a piece of 6-inch steel at 100 yards or even out to 200 yards with this stuff right here. We're going to find out, though, here in a few minutes. All right, so we've got the Zero Turrets done. We have two magazines sitting here. So we're going to shoot five at the 100 left side, and then we're going to go to the 200-yard target. I'm going to go ahead and shoot off of this thing right here. And here we go. know what happened there but okay there we go that's one two three four five all right let's get on up to the 200 yard all right we're going to be shooting at the top target 200 yards Let's do this. Let's burn them down. Piece of steel at 100. Where are you at, baby? She hot? She getting there? One thing's for sure, she's dependable. Two hundred again. Where's my steel at? Wow. Slow down, get 
get some accuracy in here. We got some smoke coming off of this thing. She's looking good. All right, so that's 60 rounds. Let's do five rounds. The right side target at 100 yards. Here we go. Three more rounds. You know, I'll make it even. Okay. Well, the spread, besides a flyer, yeah. You guys be the judge. I'm not going to make the judgment call on this thing. So, what we're going to do now, uh, first of all, I'd like to point out. She ran flawlessly through that whole event, and uh, that was fun. So let's go ahead and take this scope, put it on the full Monty, and let's see how it performs using the uh, 55 grain. Here we go. Okay, so we got this thing zeroed in okay, I think. <laughs> so what we're going to do is run five rounds. Five rounds at the bottom set. Left side is going to be our cold bore, which is not really cold bore. We've got it warmed up a little bit. Not bad. So five rounds. Here we go. Then we'll rotate up to the 200. Let's go 200. We'll bring it on up da, da, da. to the sky. Lower target, 200. We should be landing about four inches below. Well, hell, that's off. That's the 55 grain. Now we go to the burn down. Uh, 60 rounds. Here we go. Where's my steel target? I think we'll just go for the one out there on the uh, field, shall we? That paint just falls off of it if it's not completely dry. Watch your lane. Where's my 100? Come on, baby. Tell you what, we get done there. Let's do a uh, after action review on the Primo targets, because uh, guys, they are getting a workout today. Back on the 100. Let's go ahead and bring it down. That video is not going to go many times. All right, five rounds on the uh, right side, lower target. <sighs> Let's slow down a little bit, shall we? I'm glad I didn't take a camera out. All right, here we go. I'd say she's hot. That's 
one, two, three, four, five. Let's just go ahead and put them all there. Okay. The evidence is there, guys. I'm gonna let y'all be the judge. Uh, we heated this guy up, I think, good enough. And uh, Primo Targets. Uh, yeah, I am going to do an after-action review on those guys right there. Uh, one of the cool things, though, I'm very pleased at the fact that both of these firearms ran like a champ. Uh, I would say that the... Uh, in, in looking at the targets, uh, most definitely uh, the, uh, the proof barrel uh, was probably a little bit... Uh, a little bit more accurate. But um, that's with 55 grain. And, and, and guys, I've seen uh, Bear Creek Arsenal barrels. I was just talking to a good friend of mine, Paps, who uh, has one, and he says that thing prints at one inch without a problem. Uh, but I'll tell you this right now. I'm excited about this guy right here. So um, what, did we, what did we find out? Well, the, uh, the proof barrel held zero. Uh, even after a, a pretty decent little mag dump there, I had fun actually. Uh, that was a good time. The uh, uh, return to zero was really good. And, uh, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't remember what this thing did out there at 200. The spread at 200 is, I think, almost as equal to uh, the Bear Creek Arsenal. Uh, but that, I think, has more to do with the round. So, with that being said, I'm not going to pass judgment yet. Let's put the heavy stuff through these things and see where to go. i got 20 rounds, 10 rounds of each brand we're going to put through this guy. So, let's uh, take a break and uh, let this guy cool down. may take a damn hour or so. But while that's happening, we'll do a, a couple little add-on reviews. And uh, got some really cool stuff coming up. Stand by.